this is a perfect time of year to get outside and enjoy nature, maybe take in some fall colors. Sure. Why not go above the trees mm -hmm. to uh, get a better view? We went to Highland Hills to yeah. check out what's in store for their fall chairlift rides later today. But I, I grew up skiing here. Oh, I didn't I know, know that. Know. Yeah. This was uh, closest to a diner, right? Right. Here in central and southern Minnesota, the, the fall colors have been kind of behind, but there's some popping now. There are. I see some yellow treetops. It's nice to see. I also don't mind seeing all the green. It feels very lush. Yeah, this late in the season, absolutely. Yeah. From this vista, it's the highest point in Hennepin County, or one of them. And I'm free. Free falling, falling. You get to ride the chairlift up as many times as you want. Once you're up top, you get to take in this beautiful view. Uh, we think it's one of the best views in the cities. This is Mount Gilboa, so you're about 1,000 feet up. A uh, gorgeous view not only of the tree canopy, but also the downtown Minneapolis skyline off in the distance. So once you're up top, we'll have uh, food up here. We're grilling food. We have fiddle music. We'll light some bonfires, a bunch of propane lanterns. We'll have activities for kids as well as some long games for adults. Uh, we'll actually uh, have a red-tailed hawk and a kestrel here, and you guys can meet them. So when people come here today, they're going to be able to see this red-tailed hawk. They will today. We will have our red-tailed hawk out, and so people can come up close, take pictures, ask questions. What do you think he's seeing right now? Yeah, their vision is, is amazing, and what defines a raptor is actually three important characteristics, one being their hooked beak, second being their feet, and their wonderful eyesight. And so these birds are the ones that you're seeing while you're driving down the highways. They're scanning the ground looking for their food, and generally this bird is going to eat a lot of mice. They're going to eat a lot of shrews, moles, voles, ground squirrels. They'll take a wide variety of things. We really think of them as more generalist as it comes to a raptor and what they eat. Who is this? So yes, this is another type of raptor, and this is a, an American kestrel. It's the smallest falcon in North America. Wow. Boys have blue wings, girls have brown wings, and the boys have the polka dots on the, on the front, and the girls have streaks. So they're actually rare in raptors to be able to tell male-female based on coloration, generally its size. And I'm free. Free falling. Oh, beautiful sights, also a beautiful rendition by John Mayer of a Tom Petty song. Of course, we lost him earlier this week. Mm -hmm, a little tribute there. Yeah. The Raptors, uh, they'll be at the top of the hill at Highland Hills. You can ride the chairlift up as many times as you want. Yes. The rides start at 4 this afternoon and go until 9. And if you haven't pre-registered, the cost is $6. Children under 2 are free. And we have all the information you need at WCCO.com slash links. And Mike, it looks like it will clear up later today, but they do have yeah. contingency plans in place. If it does rain, they'll move into the ski chalet, but looks like it might be okay later on. Tonight should be fine. Yeah, they, they probably needed to be inside last evening yeah. with that rain moving in right around dinner time.